This example problem deals with motion on an inclined plane. We have a, a seven kilogram object. The plane has no friction. The angle of the plane up from the horizontal is 34 degrees. And the object currently is at rest 1.4 meters up along the plane from the bottom of the plane. Uh, it's gonna be released and we want to not only draw the free body diagram, the forces that act on our object of interest, uh, but we want to be able to calculate the time that's required for the object to reach the bottom of the plane. So taking a look at the plane and the object here, um, it does have a weight downward, we'll calculate later, mg, and that is a force acting vertically downward on the, uh, on the object, and we have a normal force perpendicular to the plane. Our motion is along the plane, so this mg force is not useful. We need a component of the weight that's in the direction parallel to the plane, and that's going to be here, this uh, short side of our triangle. There's a component of the weight acting down the plane. That will be the force that will help us then find the acceleration, and with that acceleration we'll be able to calculate the time. Um, the component here, the, the mg is the hypotenuse always in this drawing. The component we need is mg, the hypotenuse, multiplied by the sine of 34 degrees. Uh, 34 degrees is the angle of our ramp. If you draw your triangle in this manner, this 34 degrees or whatever the ramp angle is will be the angle at the top of this triangle. You could uh, do a little geometry and convince yourself of that, but um, a little work with right triangles, but there we are. So the uh, force going down the plane, mg is 7 times 9.8, mass of uh, the object multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, and then sine 34 degrees. Put that into your calculator. Hopefully you'll get 38.36 newtons. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. If I kind of uh, separate out the object now and just show the forces acting on it, um, appropriate to the motion here. So we have this component of gravity acting down the plane and we have the normal force. The normal force is not important in this uh, calculation. It does have a value of the, this adjacent side to the angle that's mg cosine of 34 degrees, but because this problem has no friction we will not need to uh, to use that, that value. Um, so if we continue here we're going to use f equals ma to come up with the acceleration and our force, there's only one force, I'm going to use down the plane as the positive direction. Um, so this force is a positive number and we'll get the acceleration as a positive number down the plane. It's always important in problems you know which direction you're calling positive and then be consistent as you work the problem. So 38.36 newtons, there's only one force in the direction of motion because there's no friction. Seven kilograms is the mass divide by uh, 38.36 by 7, you come up with 5.48 meters per second squared um, as our acceleration. That acceleration direction is down the plane. The acceleration is always in the same direction as the net force on your object. So we want to calculate t. Um, the final velocity is unknown. We do know we start from rest, so the initial velocity is known. And we know this distance is 1.4 meters, so we need to pick a kinematic equation that does not have the final velocity in it, and that's what I use as a third equation of the kinematic equations. Um, pause and look at this if you want. So one, two, three, four, the third one does not have the final velocity. Um, but we have a uh, set of numbers here, only the time is unknown. The um, Final position number is 1.4 meters. Our initial position we'll call zero. We're releasing from rest, so V naught is a zero, so this term becomes zero. One half, we calculated the acceleration previously, and then T squared, so we multiply both sides by two. We divide both sides by 5.48. We get 0 0.51095 for the value of T squared, and we take a square root. 0.715 seconds is our value for t. And perhaps I should make a comment back here with the acceleration. Do you think this number is reasonable? 
Well, I can judge that it's somewhat reasonable. It's less than 9.8 meters per second squared. We're not falling in free fall towards the surface of the Earth. We're going down a ramp, and we don't have the full weight causing acceleration. We have a component of the weight. So, yes, it's a reasonable number, 5.48 meters per second squared. It's less than 9.8. And we use that acceleration in the kinematic equation to come up with our time about 0.715 seconds. Ask your instructor if you have questions on this.